Welcome to Book My Scans. Today we are going to talk about kidney function test. What is kidney? The kidneys are bean shaped organs on either side of your spine, below your ribs, and behind your belly. Each kidney is about 4 to 5 inches long, roughly the size of a large fist. How does a kidney function? Blood flows into the kidney, waste gets removed. Salt and mineral gets adjusted if needed. Waste gets turned into urine which collects in the kidney pelvis a funnel shaped structure that drains down a tube called the ureter to the bladder. If blood stops into the kidney, part or all of it could die. That can lead to kidney failure. Symptoms of kidney diseases Fatigue, difficulty concentrating, trouble sleeping, poor appetite, muscle cramping, swollen feet and ankles, puffiness around the eyes in the morning, dry or scaly skin, frequent urination especially in the night. Kidney diseases and causes Kidney diseases have several types such as chronic kidney diseases, kidney stones, glomerulonephritis, polycystic kidney disease, urinary tract infection. Chronic kidney diseases. This is a common form of kidney diseases commonly caused by high blood pressure. High blood pressure is dangerous for kidneys because it can increase the pressure on the glomeruli which is a tiny blood vessel for blood cleaning. Diabetes is the major cause for chronic kidney diseases. Sugar level damages the blood vessels and kidney starts declining. kidney stone. They occur when minerals and other substances in the blood crystallizes in the kidneys forming solid masses. Stone. Kidney stones usually come out of the body during urination. Passing kidney stones can be extremely painful but rarely cause significant problems. Glomerulonephritis. It is an inflammation of glomeruli. Glomerulonephritis can be caused by infections, drugs, or congenital abnormalities, disorders that occur during or shortly after birth. Urinary tract infection Urinary tract infection are bacterial infections of any part of the urinary system. Infections in the bladder and urethra are the most common. They are easily treatable and rarely lead to more health problems. However, if left untreated, these infections can spread to the kidneys and cause kidney failure. Kidney failure symptoms A reduced amount of urine Swelling of your legs, ankles and feet from retention of fluids caused by the failure of your kidneys to eliminate the water waste Unexplained shortness of breath Excessive drowsiness or fatigue Pain or pressure inside chest Coma Persistent nausea
Causes for Kidney Failure Kidney failure occurs when your kidney loses the ability to filter wastes from your blood sufficiently. Many factors can interfere with your kidney health and functions such as toxic exposure to environmental pollutants or certain medication, certain acute and chronic diseases, severe dehydration. Kidney Trauma Types of Kidney Failure There are five types of kidney failure. Acute pre-renal kidney failure, acute intrinsic kidney failure, chronic pre-renal kidney failure, chronic intrinsic kidney failure, chronic post-renal kidney failure. Acute pre-renal kidney failure Insufficient blood flows into the kidneys because of acute pre-renal kidney failure. The kidney can't filter toxins from the blood without enough blood flow. This type of kidney failure can usually be cured once you and your doctor determine the cause of the decreased blood flow. Acute Intrinsic Kidney Failure This can be caused by direct trauma to the kidneys such as physical impact or an accident. Causes also include toxin overload and ischemia which is a lack of oxygen to the kidneys. The following may cause ischemia severe bleeding, shock, renal blood vessel obstruction, glomerulonephritis. Chronic pre-renal kidney failure When there is no time for enough blood to flow into the kidneys for an extended period of time, the kidneys begin to shrink and lose the ability to function. Chronic intrinsic kidney failure This happens when there is a long-term damage to kidneys due to intrinsic kidney disease. Intrinsic kidney disease is caused by direct trauma to the kidneys such as severe bleeding or lack of oxygen. Chronic postrenal kidney failure A long term blockage of urinary tract prevents urination. This causes pressure and eventually kidney damage. Why do doctors ask for kidney function tests? To test your kidney function, your doctor will order a set of tests that can estimate your glomerular filtration rate. Your GFR tells your doctor how quickly your kidneys are cleaning waste from your body. Kidney function tests Urinalysis, serum creatinine test, blood urea nitrogen, estimated GFR. Urinalysis. A urinalysis screens for the presence of protein and blood in the urine. Infection increases urine protein, but so does a physical workout. A doctor may want you to repeat this test after a few weeks to see if the results are similar. Your doctor may also ask you to provide a urine collection sample. This can help doctors see how fast a waste product called creatinine is clearing from your body. Creatinine is a breakdown product of muscle tissue. Serum creatinine test. This blood test examines whether creatinine is building up in your blood. The kidney usually completely filters creatinine from the blood. A high level of creatinine suggests a kidney problem. According to National Kidney Foundation, a creatinine level higher than 1.2 mg per deciliter for women and 1.4 mg per deciliter for men is a sign of kidney problem. 
blood urea nitrogen checks for waste products in your blood this test measure the amount of nitrogen in the blood urea nitrogen is a breakdown product of protein a normal blood urea nitrogen level is between 7 and 20 milligrams per deciliter a higher value could suggest several different health problems estimated GFR this test estimates how well your kidneys are filtering waste the test determines the rate by looking at factors such as test results specifically creatinine levels age gender race height and weight How is this test being conducted? Kidney function tests usually require 10 to 12 hours fasting for blood test. Urine sample requires for creatinine clearance test. It gives your doctor an idea of how much creatinine your body expels over a single day. On the day that you start the test, urinate into the toilets as you normally would when you wake up. For the rest of the day and night, urinate into a special container provided by your doctor. Keep the container capped and refrigerated during the collection process. Make sure to label the container clearly and to tell other family members why it is in the refrigerator. On the morning of the second day, urinate into the container when you get up. Follow your doctor's instructions about where to drop off the sample. You may need to return it either to your doctor's office or to a laboratory. What is the right time for this test? If the doctor has doubt that patient has kidney problems, if any symptoms like swelling in the leg or swelling near eye, if patient has complained about urinate issue as no or a lot more urine. Schedule your scans with Book My Scans and get 50% discount compared to the market price. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel Th and thank you for watching.